Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the Putco LED load resistor kit. This is going to come with a load resistor and then two of these quick splices to help you alleviate that issue that can happen whenever you try to put an LED on your vehicle or maybe your RV or motorhome and that it didn't have an LED before. What happens is that system is used to having a certain amount of electric flow going through the wiring so when you put an LED the one of the big things is that it doesn't draw as much power but now your vehicle thinks that there's something wrong so it'll cause a hyper flash that's where this is going to come into play it's going to relieve that issue it's going to send the um, a more electric or uh, kind of a more signal through the system so that it doesn't cause that issue, kind of tricks your vehicle into thinking that there's more power going through, even though there's not. So this can really be a nice addition to your system. It's a good idea to get one per side. It really just needs to go on um, the signal wire for any indicator that's gonna be flashing. So that's gonna be your stop or turn signal. This is going to be the aluminum version. There's also other ones that are ceramic. And really the main difference between that is that aluminum is really durable. It's able to withstand heat and dissipate it really well. And it also is pretty resistant to any kind of cold damage as well. So I would say that this is probably going to be the more durable of the two types. They both work just fine. It's the same sort of concept, but uh, that's really going to be the main difference as far as which one to get. Something that I also like about this one in particular is that it has these two little holes on the sides here to help you mount it in place. So that gives you a nice spot to mount this up and make sure that it's really secure. Maybe not even bolting it down. It doesn't come with any bolts or screws, so you will, would have to pick those up separately. But even if you didn't want to use that, you could maybe get a few little baby zip ties through there and just zip tie it off to the rest of your wiring or even just use something to go through there to make it a little bit uh, more secure. Something else though that I would suggest picking up with this whenever you're installing it is replacing these quick splices. I'm not a fan of these just because I don't feel like they're as reliable as a butt connector. They do work. Um, the main draw with these is that they're really quick and easy as the name suggests. They are quick splices. So you just put the wire that you're attaching this through uh, or attaching it to through the end and then put the other end in here and you clamp it down but what can happen is that this can kind of come three come open up and come free and it can just cause some issues and not always get the best connection especially over time and if you're going to be putting this into an area that is harder to get to especially maybe um, you're replacing your vehicle's headlights or something like that or putting it in an area that's just dip tricky to get into I would definitely switch these out for something a little bit more durable. In that case, I would recommend some heat shrink butt connectors. They're just crimp on butt connectors, but you can use a heat gun to shrink them around the wire. They make a waterproof seal and they also just hold better in general. Um, that's my opinion. You don't have to do that. You can find those heat shrink butt connectors here at eTrailer.com. There's some, a couple different sizes. Probably the yellow or the blue is gonna be about the only size that you'd need. <clears throat> and really, that's about all you need to get these guys installed. Again, you'd probably wanna get one per side. This does come as a two pack as well, which is probably the easiest way to get this. So I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is gonna be the right solution for you. Again, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.